We on? Are we on? Hello everybody and welcome to episode 6. Trevor, episode 6 of Beer Sweden TV. We're back in the Beer, Beer Sweden studio, I suppose you can call it, after our big day out, Trevor, at the uh, Sundsvall Beer Festival. Uh, did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy getting out? Not really. Um, it was, I think, if you looked at the previous episode of Beer Sweden TV, you'll see that um, it wasn't the most, uh, it wasn't the best beer festival I've ever been to. Uh, it was Trevor's first experience at a beer festival, um, but, um, and it didn't really go that well. But listen, we're back, we're doing what we love doing, and what do we love doing, Trev? Uh... Tasting beer. Tasting beer, Trev, of course. Uh, today what we're going to do is we are going to examine one of, I think, the greatest beer styles out there. One of my personal favourites and the most widely, should we say, copied craft beer style in the world right now, and that is an IPA. IPA stands for India Pale Ale. It's a style of beer that actually started off in the UK, where, in fact, actually, Trevor, a lot of good beer styles come from. Um, it started off in about 1790 uh, when England, or Britain, should I say, I doff my hat to the lady on my left here. Um, uh, actually sort of owned, I think it was about a third of the world, back in the days of the colonies, uh, where we used to send our troops out to India, uh, where they sat there in the sweltering heat, and of course they wanted to have a pint of beer just as easily as if they were down at uh, their local pub in London. Um, so one enterprising young man, his name was George Hodgson, um, actually came up with a beer that would be able to survive the long journey over to India. Problem was, of course, when they started sending beer in the first place, um, by the time it actually got to India, what with the three month long uh, sea voyage uh, and the shifts in temperature and the motion of the casks on the ship, uh, by the time it got there it was pretty much vinegar, undrinkable. Um, so uh, George, clever George, uh, came up with this concept of actually using a certain type of yeast technique, uh, but more importantly he shoved loads of hops. Uh, into the beer in London, so that by the time it actually got to uh, Calcutta, uh, the beer was actually pretty good condition, very, very drinkable. Now that style that George uh, first invented uh, was, uh, was copied actually in the sort of mid-1800s, about sort of 1840, by some breweries in Burton-on-Trent. This is a very famous brewing capital in the UK. Uh, they had had some trouble uh, with uh, a lot of their trade from Russia, uh, some, some tax duties went up, it meant that they were looking around for somewhere else to sell beers. And they looked at India, they saw what George had done, um, and they started to copy him. But they had something, Trev, they had something that George didn't have. They had water. The water from Burton, very special water. It's got a lot of sulphates in it, so it's a very hard, mineral-rich sort of water. And, um, and so by using George's technique of overhopping, added to the special water from Burton on Trent, they managed to produce some amazing, amazingly fresh beers that could survive that long journey over to India, dropped extremely clear, great condition, very crunchy, uh, very crisp um, IPAs. So that's how it came about. Lesson, history lesson over, uh, Trev. I think what we should do is try some of them. Now, what we've got here today are two types. We've got a traditional, um, English, British type of IPA, which is kind of a nod um, at the original style. Uh, and on my right, uh, we've got a more modern interpretation from the United States who have taken IPA and really spun it on its head. Um, it was a pretty dying brand in the UK until the sort of 80s when the Americans, as part of their sort of micro-revolution, um, came along and said, right, we are going to resurrect IPA from the dead. They did it, uh, they Americanized it, made it far more bold, far more fruity. Um, so there are two very distinct old world style of IPA and new world style of IPA. So let's start off with the first one. Here we go, Marston's Old Empire. Obviously the branding says the story there. Um, Trent, you can throw all the details up about that, the system below again. Attractive bottle, clear glass. I know a lot of you people are going to think it's going to be affected by light and so on, but it's not India. We're Sweden here. Huge, huge aroma on this beer straight away. Can you see that? A lovely, clear, uh, golden amber colour. Um, that's because of the type of uh, malt that's used. It's, um, it's an optic malt, which gives it a very sort of pale, almost green type sort of colour to it. 
but a very attractive colour. Give it a whirl, Trev. Give it a whirl. I'm getting huge bready sort of malt notes to this straight away. Now, Marston's is uh, a Burton on uh, Trent Brewery. Uh, that's the reason I chose it. There are other IPAs from the UK out there, but I did want to go back to the roots, to the to the real to the start of the story. And Burton on Trent is still famous for its Burtonized water. And you get it straight away. It's a little bit like, um, a little bit like uh, seaweed. There's a real smell of the seaside here and wet stone, this sort of mineral quality. Grab an oyster shell, you know, open it up, lick it inside. And this is really what you're sort of beginning to smell here. There's dill seeds as well. A lot of dills and I've got the herby sort of quality to it too. Let's give it a taste. Very pleasant. You've got quite a sort of bready malt structure to it at the front. Uh, it's not very sweet, it's quite dry. Uh, the hops kick in. Uh, it's East Kent Golding, it's Fuggles, two types of traditional UK hops they've slammed into here, kept it true to style. Unfortunately, what they've also done, and I don't know if this is a recent thing, but they've late hopped this beer with uh, Cascade. Uh, which is an American type of hop. So although they're sort of trying to trade on the fact that they are sort of traditional style, uh, uh, quite frankly, they've gone and stuffed some US hops into it, which has rather sort of ruined the ending of the story. But it is a very, very um, uh, clean IPA. It's not massive as the US stars will be, but it's actually quite light and clean and pure. I quite like it, especially for the mineral quality. Um, rating, uh, Trev, I'm going to give it because it's from the old colonies, I'm going to give it three and a half out of five. Three and a half out of five, Trip. Okay, the next beer. Torpedo Extra IPA. This is from the United States, from a brewery called Sierra Nevada. There you go, Trev. Trev, I'm happy. We're back in the studio. We're doing what we should be doing, and that's drinking good beer. We're well, drinking beer, Sons Val. Do you want to talk to me about that? Let's talk about it later. Now this one, have a look at this. Slightly more amber, slightly more rich, dark, luscious sort of colour. I can tell straight away this is an American beer. Huge hit of American hops coming gushing out of the bottle. Give it a whirl. Give it a whirl. Look at the head on this thing. Beautiful. Now Sierra Nevada. One of my absolute favourite, favourite US beers from my favourite US breweries. The brewery itself, greenest brewery on the planet. Sixth largest United States brewery out there. Started by a guy called Ken Grossman in his garage. And it's grown and it's grown and it's grown. One lovely thing I love about this brewery, it does use whole hop cones in every single one of its beers. Very, very important. You get this very luscious, thick hop thing going on because it uses the whole hop cone, not just pellets like a lot of the other ones use. And you're getting that in this beer. Magnum, Crystal, Citra, all these American hops slammed in here. And yes, you've got pineapple, you've got grapefruit, you've got a little bit of herby quality to it, a bit of cracked black pepper, believe it or not, Trev, I'm getting in this. Very bitter, long, long bitter finish to it. Superb, very typical of American stars of IPA. Big, alcoholic, 7.25%. Bigger, more grape, more resin, more everything really, typical US stuff. So there we go, old world, new world. Same type of beer, but two completely different ways of actually expressing it. So that's IPA, we're gonna come back to IPA because there's so many good IPAs out there. But until then, cheers and beers. Oh, there's one thing I forgot, and that's to rate the beer. Um, Sierra Nevada. Um, torpedo, extra IPA, I'm giving it four. Four out of five, Trev. I think it's just a slightly bit more interesting and it's because they've gone and put um, US hops into the Marstons that I'm lowering it by half a point, but four out of five. Cheers and beers.